morning, it's December, which means it's officially Vlogmas. Well, it's my first Vlogmas. I just felt like it was necessary to do a Vlogmas because I had this camera for about a year and it's time to start making me some money. So let's put it to good use. So this morning, I woke up feeling terrible, like terrible, terrible. I just got gas. Let's go to Starbucks, get me a medicine ball. I've already ordered it, so I just gotta go in and pick it up. This is like my secret Starbucks, but. So I've never vlogged specifically from my car like this. So today is really just about figuring out how to put this camera child. We're gonna try this setup today. We're gonna try this setup today and see how long it lasts for. Um, but yes, I woke up feeling terrible. I started getting the medicine ball when I was working at Smoothie King growing up um, and my manager would always tell us like if you're sick go get you a medicine ball so that's what we're doing um today is friday thank you jesus i have cheer practice until five i'm the cheer coach um my girls have a competition tomorrow they really want me to vlog them for tomorrow so they're gonna be my vlogmas for tomorrow um but they've been working really really hard they've grown i don't know where my microphone is like i know where it is but i don't like it so I want to get a new one. So I'm just going to keep vlogging until I get a new one without a microphone. So I'm going to keep vlogging without a microphone until I can get a new one. I want the little like Bluetooth one because the one I have, like I got to connect it to my camera. And if it's not plugged in like all the way, child, it is not going to work. Um, so yeah, I'm going to my secret Starbies. And I call it a secret because it really don't be nobody going in there, um, which is good. And I think it's just because there's so many other Starbucks around it that it's so busy. But I'm so excited. I'm going to have to like make sure I'm editing, editing, editing like throughout the day because I need these up, like day up. They need to be up. I still need to edit my Vegas vlog. That was my first time really vlogging. So it's very, very terrible, which is why I haven't posted it because I just don't know um, how how it came out i don't know if the sound was working i don't know how the lighting looked i don't i don't know but i'll probably try to edit that today find some time to edit today it's a very busy day because my girls compete tomorrow i have to leave during my break which is at like 10 15 so i'm literally going to work for like two hours leaving at 10 15 coming picking up their cheer bows because if they were to ship them even though it's still in the city of my job if they were to ship them, it wouldn't be here till Monday. But if I pick them up, they can have them for the competition tomorrow. So that's what we're trying to do. Make sure they have them for the competition. This has literally been a whirlwind of emotions, a whirlwind of stress. But by the grace of the Lord, all of their stuff, almost all their stuff came in yesterday. I'm hoping the rest comes in today. I just, y'all, you just don't know. <sighs> You just don't know. My windows are foggy, babes. Foggy. Okay, I'm gonna go get my medicine ball. All right, so I got the goods. I got the croissants, which is like the best croissant ever. And I got honey citrus mint tea is what it's actually called, but it used to be called medicine ball. It's hot, but I ordered like 20 minutes ago, so it should be a little bit cooler. Still hot, but drinkable. I don't know what it is about this one, but it just makes people feel so good. So during um, Thanksgiving season, they had apple cinnamon croissants, which were like 12 times better than these. These are still great, but so I'm about to drive to work. I don't want to keep fidgeting with this camera, so I'm going to head to work, get back on here after I leave work again to go pick up their stuff new goals for december excessively drinking water so if you don't see me picking this up in like a day of this vlogmas make sure you get on me make sure you get on me oh back in my vehicle i have to go get my cheerleaders their cheer bows it's 30 minutes away from my job I'm on break right now. Hopefully I can make it back before then. But if I don't, it's Friday. I'm not going to stress myself over it. These bows are a little bit more important 
for today um being a cheer coach has been stressful like i this is well there was a cheer team last year but this year it's pretty much starting over sorry i'm trying to like figure out my setup but pretty much starting over um which isn't a bad thing but it is a bad thing because we're starting over during the school year versus like actually having um the whole summer to prepare and plan and build these connections and build these relationships so that's been really hard and then getting the orders in has been hard too um these people here child can't drive um but getting the orders in has been difficult too. It's just been a lot to do. But I am so glad that finally everything is here. I got an email during first period that the sweatshirts are coming in. The rest of the sweatshirts are coming in before 1 o'clock today. So it just feels good to get everything in order. The cheerleaders, like I said, they're really, really good now. Um, a lot of growth from the beginning, which is amazing because can't even imagine where they're going to be next year but I don't know it's just going through this being a coach and stuff just the stress of coaching I literally pulled my nose ring out it's not my nose ring my dog took my nose ring out like last weekend or two weeks ago I can't really remember maybe last weekend but I've been using an earring as my nose ring and I just took that out my braid so it's probably just in my car seat but I'm driving and I don't feel like looking for it but you know you don't realize how much goes into coaching or like having a cheer team or a cheer program in general even if you have a coaching staff I have a great coaching staff so like you know the coaching side of it is fine it's just all the extra stuff Ooh, cool fire trucks over here not one fire but it's like all the extra stuff that comes with coaching that makes it a little bit difficult not difficult but stressful like I didn't you don't think how much goes into planning a uniform making sure everybody has their uniform making sure it looks good making sure the color is the exact color of the school making sure that orders are placed on time making sure that the sizing is right making sure that everybody is content it's just it's heavy and it's a lot but it is what it is I just I don't know I didn't expect it to be this much but I'm glad I'm doing it. It's really teaching me a lot as a leader. So I do I do appreciate that. But competitive cheer is very different from school cheer, especially middle school cheer. But I'm glad that my district is doing a cheer competition for them just so they can have the practice. And if they like it, of course they're going to keep cheering. I hope they do. I always recommend the girls you know, look into competitive or at least do tumbling or something. Expand your skills outside of school cheer. I like school cheer, but I think competitive teaches you a lot more in terms of like life, being a young lady, being a team player, um, being open-minded to different types of people, different types of everything. But anyway, child, okay, enough talking. Let's put on this music. So right now, the song that's stuck in my head is You Broke My Heart by Drake. So that's what we're gonna be listening to right now. Yo. Yo. When Drake came out, I knew he was gonna be big because I was a big fan of his on Degrassi. But I didn't know he was gonna be this big. But we love Drizzy. No pack on many bodies. Screenshots solve plenty problems. Voice knows bag plenty hotties. Why did he release like scary hours? As like a second part of it. I don't know. Shit is getting tricky. People love to diss me. I hear. I clearly don't know the words. <laughs> I clearly have no idea the words. The reason I want to do this vlog stuff is because I just be having a lot of stuff going on, and I don't be wanting to like put my problems onto people. Like I don't really like doing that. So I mean, it's like I'm talking to myself, but I'm really not talking to myself. But like in the moment, I am talking to myself. But I guess, like, even if only two people watch this video, that's two people who are able to hear me vent. And I don't know, maybe other people going through the same stuff and we can, like, bounce ideas and assistance off of each other. But I don't know. I don't really care if nobody watches these vlogs. It's 
really like my video diary, so living the die life, I guess. Life of die. I don't know. I really could think of like a witty name for the vlogs, so die life vlogs it is. I more so want to continue evolving and continue growing. I feel like at 25, I've learned a lot about myself. I'll say 24 too. 24, 25. I've really figured out who I wanted to be and what the heck keeps going on? What is, what keeps going on? But I keep hearing this pop and I don't know where it's coming from. Mentally, I know exactly where I want to be. Emotionally, I just know where I want to be. I'm not saying I've figured out my life, but I'm about to turn 26 on the 24th. So, pushing 30. So I think it's fair to say I have a good grip on where I see myself and where I want to be. Maybe this is stupid. Maybe this is a waste of time. But I'm going to do them anyway. Next year, I really want to just save. Even if it's like 200 a check. I just need to save something. Because I just don't. It's too many emergencies that pop up in life to where. And I don't mean like, oh, two, three hundred dollar emergencies. I mean like my car. My car stopped working. Out the blue. Tripping. Bad. I mean, no warnings, no nothing. Had to get a whole new car. Which really isn't. Like, yes, I got a new car, but it's like, dang, I got a new car. Still got a car note. That's a little bit higher than what I was already paying. So it's just like, these type of things, I think that if I save even $200 a check, I will be okay. I also want to read more, but I want to read, like, mindset books. I don't want to read anything just for, like, giggles. I don't want to read mysteries. I don't want to read, like, fun books. I want to read books that's helping me move towards who I want to be as Diamond, like who I want to be as an adult. I know that I've grown within, but I feel like the people around me don't really see it. And I guess that could also just be because I'm really to myself when it comes down to my life. Like I'm really to myself when it comes down to my failures and my challenges, even like my wins. I don't really like bragging about what I have going on. So maybe that's why people don't see it or maybe i don't know maybe i'm just in my own head but i got a lot of traffic right now i guess lunchtime i mean it's 10 48 so i'm projected to get there at 11 09 another 30 minutes so that means i'll get to work around 11 40 i am going to stop at starbucks because i just got a notification that um i have 400 stars expiring today so i mean i saw them this morning but i didn't see that they were expiring so i just didn't think to use it so i'll probably grab like something small um from there it's like a little snack i'm trying to like i said i'm trying to be healthy let me go ahead and sip my little water sip my little water i also want to work out more not necessarily work out to like bulk up or work out to lose a lot of weight i just want to be shapely i want to be toned um my stomach is flat flat <laughs> well it's not flat flat but it's getting flat so maybe just full. My stomach is full. I'm gonna be healthy, be better. My hair to grow, but that's every year's goal, huh? On my vision board, I have like Megan Thee Stallion. I have money. I have a higher credit score. I have um, self care. Just focusing on diamond, you know, being more organized in my life. Not necessarily just stuff at home, but just organizing my life. So I'm really focusing on like digital bullet journaling. Um, I've been working on that, but now that it's December, I think I feel a lot more motivated. Uh, I just want to not necessarily become a new Diamond, but just show the world who Diamond is. I have a lot of goals. I have a lot of ideas um, that I don't really tell people about. Just because most of my life, I've been focusing more so on other people, satisfaction, making sure everybody, you know, is happy. And that's like, I'm 26, about to be. And... I need to focus on diamond. I need to do what makes diamond happy. So from here on out, I'm literally just focusing on me. Um, you either getting with it or you getting out the way. I can't keep living for everybody else. Like it's, it's not even to knock nobody. It's not even to disregard anybody. I just literally can't keep doing that to myself. Um, it's not healthy. I think that's also a big factor into my mental health concerns is that I'm living for everybody else. So I'm not happy with what I'm doing. Like, I love kids, but teaching is draining, okay? So, I just got to reevaluate what I see myself doing. Um, I have this camera, so use it. My parents got me this because I just was very, very down. 
about my life and of course you know I've been working on my other YouTube with the film and stuff but I also have been thinking about ways to even expand that you know yeah film is interesting but what else can I talk about I love music videos let's let's dissect some music let's dissect some albums you know maybe embrace the musical culture the docu-series I'm making a docu-series it's just it's different things that I just need the time to do and I need to stop making excuses for that I'm finishing grad school in May um this has been a very dark video I'm so sorry I'm not on the side of the interstate with the lighting but um I finished grad school in May you know keep working hard god willing I will finish in May so I'll have that degree in my pocket. I'll have a master's degree in my pocket. I'll, you know, have three years, four years of teaching, three years certified. You know, I I have a lot of accomplishments and a lot of skills that I know I can put into my passion and be just as, just as successful, if not more. That's just where my mind has been lately. I just got to keep living for Diamond, doing what's best for Diamond. So that's another big reason why this Dicember is very important to me. It's just all about me and growing myself and being there for myself. I feel like I'm talking. That's why I can't do vlogs because I can talk all freaking day. I did my makeup this morning. I did my lashes this morning. I'm going to have to show y'all my lashes. I feel like every time I try to stop and record my lashes, I can't do it. But when I don't record it and I'm just like, you know what, Diamond, just do your lashes. I do it right and I do it perfectly. So we'll see. But nails are broken up and busted this one just popped off but my both of my middle fingers broke so i just gotta i'm gonna try poly gel um poly gel as a base i just don't know i just don't know um how i feel about it i don't know if i really care to do poly gel um i think if i just keep mixing my or just doing my clear i don't know I don't really know what I'm gonna do but I need to think of a design I'm about to film everything I'm gonna film me doing my nails starting in January I'm gonna film me cooking I may do a vlog this day of cooking something but I don't really hmm. I need to get some measuring cups I tried to make some roadhouse rolls for my bread maker <laughs> when I drink too much water I get the bad hiccups <laughs> goodness but I tried to make some roadhouse rolls for my bread maker. Uh, the dough literally went everywhere. It was a mess. It, I don't even know if the bread maker still works. I'm praying it still works, but girl, a mess. I can't keep living my future in a way that works for other people. You know, it's December. I'm gonna be generous and let people over. But baby, are you getting over or not? Are you getting over or not? Are you getting over or not? What? Oh my God. I'm gonna just keep going. See, you try to be nice to people and they act like they just, she texted. My goodness. That's why she don't know. She texted. That's the problem I have with these Texas drivers. All y'all wanna do is text. Text, text, text. That's all y'all wanna do. Goodness. Life is too short to be texting and driving. Prop up a camera and get to talking. I'm just so thankful that it's Friday. Woke up this morning, I joined a prayer call. I don't know, starting your morning just hearing a bunch of motivated people pray and wish positivity on you, it's just nice, you know? That's why I wanna keep reading more. I just need to read more positivity. Be around more positivity. Spiritual people who just believe that there's something out there that's better, you know? Just keep it pushing. Positive vibes. That's all. That's what I want. I just want to be very, very positive. Not very, very positive to where it feels unrealistic, but very positive in a way that is realistic. I don't know. Child, I'm really just talking in circles. How long vlogs be? Mm -hmm. Let me stop this. I don't know. They're like looking at me. So let me get out the car. Let me see. Because they're kind of looking at me. Okay. That definitely took way longer than I thought it was going to take. Um, but. Got their bows. Eee, they're going to be so cute. And this is a little headband bows. 
which is perfect because i mean hair tie bows because they want to do um a half up half down they want to do a half up half down but we don't know i'm actually gonna go ahead and move around because this is like a loading area um but we about to look up starbucks and where are we gonna be what we gonna be eating with these 400 stars that i gotta get rid of got the bows let me see what time it got me getting to work 11.45. Let me see if there's a quick one. Yeah. 11.45. So we're going to go to Starbucks. My hands are so dry. It's very cold. Okay, let's zoom, zoom, zoom. Let's go to Starbies. So I got the croissant sandwich, white chocolate, white chocolate, hot chocolate. So I'm excited to see what that is. For those videos, I'm gonna actually turn it to the side. So just mind your business. Um, I am a food blogger. So when duty calls, babes, duty calls. Okay, so first of all, the people at this location is very, very rude. Okay, somebody stole my stuff. The girl, after they had to remake it, tossed it on the table. Anyway, child, I'm about to turn the camera so I could do this uh, speedy food review. Sorry that it's tilted, but speedy. Sorry that it's tilted, but speedy snacks because food content is a little bit more important than my schedule. So today I have 400 points expired on Starbucks, so I used them. And I got the uh, double smoked bacon thing on my nails. I got the double smoked bacon um, croissant sandwich with no cheddar. Okay. Mm -hmm. This gonna sound crazy, but it tastes like ham. Six out of ten. Then I got the hot chocolate, the white hot chocolate. Then I got the white chocolate, hot chocolate. Okay, it's hot chocolate, but Caucasian. It has like a minty feel. Seven out of ten. I like the Thanksgiving stuff more. Bye. All right, so. Right, baby. Get it right. Get it right. Okay, so my setup isn't working right now, but okay, my setup is tripping. Okay, I can't get my setup to look right, but the December Vlogmas Day One is over. It is 5:30. I think I did a good job. Um. I was supposed to record my girls in practice, but it was so hectic. My lip gloss is a mess. But it was just hectic, it was busy. We only had an hour. I forgot <laughs> until I saw my camera at the end. But early morning tomorrow, um, may or may not be seeing my parents tonight. I'll update y'all tomorrow with that one. But December vlogmas day one is over. Bye.